So the first thing I'm going to look at is how to import a photo. When you connect your camera by USB and uh, turn it on, you'll see it'll appear on the left here uh, in iPhoto, and right now I just have one photo. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and import that. So what iPhoto does by default is it uh, will import every single photo that's on your camera. But iPhoto is really smart, and if you already have a photo in your library, and on your camera, it won't import them both. That's pretty neat. So I'm going to go here and uh, I'm going to give this an event name. So one of the questions people asked me was, what's the difference between an event and an album? An event is every time you import uh, some photos, they get put into a new event. And events are uh, can be split up by date. So right here, there's this option that says auto split events after importing. And what that'll do is every single day will be a new event. I usually don't keep that checked. I usually let every time I import be its own event. So I'm going to go ahead and push import all. And it'll prepare to import and import them. And as soon as that's done, it'll give me the option to delete the photos that have already been imported. So I can delete them right off my camera. I already know they're on my computer. They're safe there. So I'm going to say delete photos. If I wanted to keep them on the camera, though, I'll just say keep photos. So you can see I've imported this photo from my camera. It's in my last imported folder here. And if I go up to the top, you can see if I click on events, it uh, groups these things that I've imported by events. So if I double click on them, I can see a whole event at once. And events are different from albums because an event is grouped by date and when you imported it off your camera, whereas an album is whatever you choose it to be. So what does that mean? I'm going to create a new album and to do that, I'm going to go down here to the bottom and push the plus button and I'm going to call it new album. And right now it's empty. If I want to add stuff to it, I can look in my other albums and find photos to add. Or I can even go into my events, which are all the way at the top. Find a picture, whatever I want. Here's a raccoon climbing a tree. And I can go and add that to the new album I just created as well. Just by dragging and dropping it into the folder. One of the main advantages of using iPhoto over organizing your photos with Windows is is it doesn't duplicate the photos. There's only one photo of this raccoon, but I can have it in a ton of different albums. And the reason that's a good thing is it doesn't waste space on your computer uh, recreating and copying the photo of the raccoon. The other reason that's nice is because, let's say I don't want this photo of the raccoon in my album anymore, I push delete, but I don't have to worry. That photo of the raccoon is still back in the events where it was originally. If you delete it from an event, however, it does go away forever. So you can delete from albums without any worry, but if you try and delete from an event, you are deleting the photo. Another question people asked me was, how to keep your photos organized in iPhoto. And I find the best way for me is, again, every time I import something, I give it a name. And I keep all the photos I've imported in that event. I take the best photos and I create an album where I may only have five or six of the different photos that I took in that event, and I put them in the album. So if I want to see my best photos, they're in my albums. If I want to see all my photos, they're in my events. Another question someone asked was, how to rename a photo? If I click on a photo, I can see that I've already renamed this photo. It usually has its, um, the code that's given to it by the camera for its title. And in iPhoto, all I need to do is double click this and give it a new name. So let's go find that photo I just added of the keyboard. If I go back to my last import, I'll find it. If I click it, you can see that it's 
title right now is this. If I double click it, I can type keyboard and now that photo's title is keyboard. Now, you might not be able to see this information and you can hide and show it just by pushing the little eye. Okay, uh, the next question I was asked was about thumbnails and resizing thumbnails. If I go into one of my albums here, you can see I've got three photos side by side. But let's say I wanted to see more than that at once. If I go down to this slider here at the bottom, you can see there's a very small picture at the left and a large picture at the right. And I can drag that slider in between those two and I can see a lot of photos all at once or just two side by side. So you can decide whatever is the best for you.